Why can't I get in contact with her? I thought that she would be knocking on my door. I thought she'd be hovering above my bed. I'm so desperate to talk to my mum since she died. She died just uh, a few months ago. Uh, I've been so desperate to talk to her that I've been searching for all these different ways that I could possibly speak to her. I've, I've researched mediums and spiritualists that can talk to her through cards and then there's some that can talk to I could talk to her through uh, using a table, making a table move and there are others which needs like a, a piece of your hair to try and connect with with uh, the person you need to connect with, the person you want to connect with but unfortunately until and up until now I still haven't found a way to to um, contact and just to speak to. There's so many things I want to say. It's a really strange thing when you lose a parent. Um, it's the first time I've ever been through it and I'm really not looking forward to the next. It's just... For me, my mum was that person that I called every single day to tell her everything. Like there was some exciting news going on. If there was some something I wanted to tell her like oh my god mum I got I got options for this job or I just I just got uh, a recall for this audition for this really cool acting role every single time I had news like that my mum was the first person I spoke to because it was she was a person that I could um, she was the one person in my life that I could be a bit selfish with I could phone her up and go oh yeah this happened to me that happened to me I felt like this I felt like that how cool isn't it mum how cool is it is so cool that I've got this isn't it mum isn't it mum yeah so it's, it's it's very odd not having that person and I'm coming to the realization that I will never have that person back so I've got to stop searching for a replacement because there's no way I could ever replace the amazing person that was my mum I just hope that one day I might be able to find a way to at least tune in to the the other side or find out what what there is. I, I suppose it's the ultimate question that everybody wants to know, but it's just it's very odd. And um, it's even stranger that my mum was a spiritualist herself. So I grew up living in a house. I grew up living in a house where people used to come and see my mum to speak to their loved ones who had passed on um, children, parents, partners, I think some stupid people, okay it's not stupid sorry, but some people went to see my mum to try and contact their dead pets, but as soon as she dies, as soon as my mum passes away, why can't I get in contact with her, I thought that she would be knocking on my door, I thought she would be hovering above my bed but it's been like the complete opposite. Instead of thinking that when she died, the first thing I thought was, it's all right, it's, it's okay. I was telling myself, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still feel her around me the whole time. But in God's honest truth, I haven't really felt her at all. And um, that's really sad. a nice song. I'm just going to turn this up for a minute.
think there couldn't have been a better song to have come on at that time. Um, kind of summed up everything that I was just talking about. Um, but look, I miss you mum, I love you very much and I hope that I can tell everybody that's listening and watching this that even though when you do lose somebody it is the hardest thing one will go through but as the months go by it does get better and it does get easier you always you're always going to have unanswered questions and always going to have things that you can't quite understand and you, you might want something that you can't get but the love that you have for a parent and the love that that parent has for you will never go away so no matter who um, who you lose in your life you just got to believe that and understand that they their love will never die it might sound cheesy but it's so true I'm going to leave it at that. Good night, everyone.